now it's time for our Junta Road. We've got a twist on a chicken. It's Bia Can Chicken. I've never heard of this before. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I, I can't wait for this. Yes. So, yeah, the idea is you, you roast the chicken over a, a can of beer. Yeah. So put it this way. Chicken, beer and potatoes. That's what you're going to have. OK. Not, that sounds all right, doesn't it? Yeah. So the idea is you take a whole chicken and by putting it over the top of the beer can, the beer itself, what happens is the beer boils inside and it steams the inside of the chicken. So we're going to do a couple of things here which sort of get rid of some myths. Because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to season this chicken properly. A chicken's got skin on the outside of it. So when you actually eat a piece of chicken like you've got there with the seasoning on the outside, yeah. the only thing that's going to have the seasoning on it is the skin. The flesh can't have any seasoning. Sure. So what you've got to do is season the inside first. Oh, wow. So what you do is you take some various things. So I've just got here some salt, some pepper. Should you a do bit that with just a normal roast chicken as well? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and if you ever have Chinese duck, you know it always tastes sort of, you know, very strong of the, those Chinese spices. It's all on the inside, nothing on the outside. Oh, I always yeah. season my chickens. Always. Oh, on the inside? You, both of them, yeah. You've do got you? To, I rub it up with a little bit of lemon. Yep. And then I season it with a bit of an all-purpose, bit of Worcester sauce. I really have to get inside, involved. Yeah. yeah. So inside first, drop in your, your seasoning. I love it all. So what you got in there, John? So I've got some sumac, some pepper, some parsley, some salt, and a bit of lemon. You can put whatever you like in there at all. Uh, anything you want, OK? So now we're going to think about the outside. So the outside, and I'm going to leave this usually in the fridge overnight because I want all the seasoning to go into oh, it. Oh, nice. So I start with a little bit of oil and a bit of mustard. Now, you don't have to be as fancy as this, you really don't. There are very clever ways of doing it very fast, but I like this way because I think it works and it just makes things simple. Yeah. In this little bowl here, I've got a mixture of, of things from garlic, salt and pepper and spices. All the ingredients are, of course, are on the app. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is here, wow. lots of chilli paste or chilli powder, cayenne pepper and paprika, so smoky, some salt and then brown sugar. And brown sugar, the brown sugar will actually then make sure it gets a lovely glaze on the outside and be sweet and smoky. So we now take the, the, the mustard mixture, and this is where I like to dress up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I do dress up. <laughs> it's time... Getting those gloves on. Time for the glove. <laughs> right. dun, 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 There's something dun, dun, about dun. the glove that's just so exciting. Kind of sound effect. Of I like maybe. a glove every so often. Oh, have you got anything? I don't know. Yes, there we are. Then you take that, because I don't really want to get it all over my hands. Take your mustard and you give it a really good oh, little sort wow. of massage. Look over it, you know, make sure it's nice, do it all the way around. Get involved. And wow, get it right that. in there. And, and I, think it's, I think it's happier for it, really. Then take the spice mix and do exactly the same. It's got a little tiny bit of heat going through or it's this got chicken. A kick, it's nice. In a lovely way. A bit yeah. of chilli. Yeah. Which is good. Now, so I said you could do whatever you like. So imagine that you've got yourself your favourite jerk recipe. Yeah. Do exactly the same thing, but with a whole chicken. Right. Fill it the same way, season it very, very well on the outside. Yeah. Turn it over. I'm going to do exactly the same thing when I turn it over. Yeah, because you want that... It's lovely when it's crispy on the bottom as well. Well, you want all that skin to be lovely and crispy, and you want people to be able to sort of take as much as they possibly can off it. But you could do this as jerk seasoning. It's in anything set. you want, really. And yeah. then you could have, if you wanted, the, the, my little tip is, you know when you buy those, like, nacho packets or for the fajita kits? Yeah. And they have all the seasoning sachets yes. in them? Just use that. So you don't have to make your own yeah. spice mix. Yeah, right. Take that now. Don't take that there. And then you take a can of beer, you pour half of it out and you drink it. Yeah. And the reason you've got to pour out <laughs> half of it is because otherwise it won't boil. There's too much beer inside. Right. Put the beer in the can but inside hang on, it. That, do, do, after that marinade, do you leave that there overnight? I or? leave that overnight. Well, yeah. Take that this in there. This is morning after, then we get the beer in. Yeah, put the beer in there. And, I've, never, and, I've never seen this before. And then you turn the, the chicken up and the chicken will stay there like that. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Poor little thing. I mean, look how pretty that is. The problem is, like hey? I said earlier on the show, when it's lying down, chicken just looks like you're about to eat the chicken. When it's sort of stood up like that, I just think, the poor guy. Yeah, like, but... Like, it's just, just taking us all back to Friends, isn't but, it? But... <laughs> that scene in Friends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. She's a beer cat. Perfect. <laughs> so, that, that. what you've got then now is you've got this lovely marinated chicken. And because the thing is, when we're all busy, and we're all really busy on weekends, we've got families and stuff, you pull it out of the oven, out of the fridge, I mean, it's all been in there, and then all you do is just chop up about six or eight large potatoes, don't have to do very much to them, take them and put a little tiny bit of oil on them. Just a little bit, a little bit of oil across yeah. the top. And then if you want to drop some more spice across the top, you can, like some sumac or whatever, that's fine. Oops. Just sit so that across the top. 
You don't parboil those at all? No. Wow. Because the chicken, the chicken's going to take about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes. And then what you want to do, once this goes in the oven, you put it in the oven for 200, de uh, 200 degrees and don't touch it for an hour and 15. And do you cook it standing up like that? Yeah. So you're going to have to take a shelf out of the cooker, the, take, the, the oven. Take the shelf out of the, out of the oven, but you want it to be sitting up like that. You want it to be there like that because you want that beer to boil and that seams Ooh, the inside. Right. Oh. Then all the juice is going to cook on the outside. Then all that juice is going to go into the potatoes. So you've not lost any flavour whatsoever. No. So that goes in the oven, and it's um, as I say, that goes in there for at 200 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes. Take the chicken out after an hour and 15, hour and 25. Yeah. And then what you do is you let the chicken rest. And the reason you let the chicken rest is because it's been roasting. But then put the potatoes back in there and let them finish off. Mm -hmm. So the potatoes can finish off. So now what we've got is we'll get ourselves our lovely piece of chicken. When you rest the chicken, should you put foil on it? Or no, no, just chicken? leave it as, as it, it is. is. People think that, you know, it's going to go cold. It won't go cold. Most of your houses are about 20 degrees, if not hotter, yeah. these days. So that's fine. I'm going to show you the fastest way to carve a chicken. Oh, great. Because I think a lot of people get really worried about carving a chicken. So here's my chook that's come out of the oven. Aaron, Aaron, whatever it is. OK. Now, come on, Mr Beer Can. You're done. <laughs> Hello, how you come? Oh, hello. Oh, it's a little mini beer can. Well, any size you want, as I say, it could be a soft drink. It could be cider. It could be anything you like. In actual fact, if you put more spices in there, so like ginger and ginger beer, mm. you get the flavour of ginger inside your chicken. So you don't really get the flavour of beer inside the chicken, then? Well, you sort of get a little bit of ale flavour. Right. But it's also, I think, you know, it's that sort of fun of everybody turning up and you've got this beer can yeah. in the barbie. Right, here we go to carve it. You've got two legs yeah. with the thighs. You just just take it and pull it apart very gently. Look at that poor chicken, look at him. Look at that. <laughs> OK, don't be like that, everybody, it's oh, a chicken. I love the thighs. The thighs and the legs come off like that. <laughs> don't like everybody in the box is laughing. Ha, 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 ha. It's a chicken. Take the, the wings off. Take oh, the I other wing the off. Wings are my favourite. Oh, I, I love those bits. I like the wings as well. There we go. And then you run your knife down the centre, down so here. easy. And the breast, if you just push away with your knife... That is fantastic. It just falls off. The breast will come away. So all that laughing in the gallery about the way my chicken... Look, look, look at that now. There you are. Who's laughing now, huh? Hey? Eh? <laughs> and the other thing, everybody in the box, you're not getting any of the chicken now cos you laugh yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why you're the best judge on MasterChef. That's it. That is Isn't one... that right? Did you watch last night? Well, it was the final, wasn't it? It was so good. Should we have a look at a uh, quick clip? Go on, but please do. Oh, that was an emotional oh, one, wasn't it? I always cry at the final. And John, I guess, now, I guess then they couldn't hug or anything. You couldn't touch him, no, could you? No. So that couldn't do anything. That must have been quite hard. You want to go and give him a Oh, couple. yeah. And you really want to sort of, you know, because they're just such, such an amazing job. And they are quite cool and quite incredible. And if anybody hasn't seen MasterChef at the moment, watch the end. It's great. Why, was Eddie, now, why did Eddie win? Why, why, why because Eddie he's, he was just brilliant. And you just gave away the winner, didn't you? Because he could cook. I'm only joking. We just walked over the window. <laughs> Literally, we just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Pass it across the top of the potatoes. Remember those potatoes went back in the oven again? Yeah. Put those across the top here. Oh, look at the gravy. Now, oh, there's yeah. all that lovely juice that comes out of the top of it. Yeah. So right. you pour that across there. And then I'm going to do the quickest coleslaw in the West. Shredded cabbage, a little bit of, of um, uh, pepper, a little tiny bit of oil. Oh, that looks so amazing. Some Parmesan cheese. You tried and this I didn't try the coleslaw. Actually. You've Terrible, got. Isn't I it? just thought that was like lettuce on the side. No, what? And you no, it's, it's good, isn't it? Oh, that's really good. Isn't that's that great? Mm. So nice. So there you go: roast chicken, potatoes, beer, coleslaw, and it's all done like that. That is delicious. I so like very the quick, we've got about thirty seconds. If you want to do that on the barbecue, yeah. Any any sort of different technique or anything? Well, if you've got a barbecue with a lid on it, they usually got a lid on it. Now they've got a heat gauge on them. Try not to go 200, over 250. So if it's starting to get a bit hot, just lift the lid a little bit or open up the vent. But yes, again, the same amount of time, 220 for about an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, thank you so Brilliant. much. Listen, Thanks all so those much. recipe details are on our This Morning app. Yeah. Uh, all the uh, recipes as well from all the other chefs too.